We're going to have a look at this scrapbook now over in our trays. A scrapbook's a great handy little spot where SketchUp layout keeps different items that you can drag into your project. But more than that, the, the most important part of it is that you're able to add your own regularly used objects into scrapbooks for you to keep yourself organized. Within the scrapbook, there is a drop down. And this takes you to browse through the different libraries that are included in here. And you'll see that there are arrows pointing to the right and arrows pointing down. Uh, this is how we collapse or uncollapse a folder hierarchy so you can see within. So currently this TB for title block contemporary is open and it's showing these four extra pages within there that I can click through to show me different things within the scrapbook. But now if I clicked to this other uncollapsed folder, when I go back the next time, it will make available the different items from within there. Within the libraries that are pre-installed, we have different types of arrows. We have images of cars, people, which are very handy for populating your projects. Different things that would be helpful on title blocks and things like north arrows, drawing labels, etc. And then for uh, landscape designers and gardeners and architects like me, we have trees in, in elevation and plan view. So these are helpful, but it's probably unlikely that they're going to be the exact style that, that you wish to use in your projects. So what I would say is uh, these are a good starting point and then you need to work on building this up for yourself as you go. As well as pulling out whole objects from our scrapbook, we can also use our style picker to pull out attributes from something. So I could come over to this plant here and then paste out the attributes of that. There's also sometimes different line weights in the title blocks. So we could use these to change the line weights of our objects. We're also able to add things back into the scrapbooks that already exist. So I could decide that this was a fantastic tree that I wanted to use in the future. And so I could select it and copy it. And what I do now, which is the critical step, is I come over to the scrapbook I want to paste it into and I hit edit and it is simply another layout file. So you can see up the top here I now have two files open and I can paste in my object. I knew to zoom out and have a look around because my page space was bigger than this one here and I can paste that in. I can now save the project and close it and you can see that that object that I put in there now is available in that scrapbook. The next thing that you might want to do is create your own scrapbook page yourself. So as we saw before a scrapbook is just a normal layout file so all we have to do is find one, uh, put some objects in and then come up to file and down to save as scrapbook. It should automatically find the uh, standard spot for your scrapbooks to go for you. I might call this uh, symbols Ross. Okay, and now when you come over to your scrapbooks you may find in here symbols Ross. The next thing that you can do to make a collapsible folder within your scrapbook like these other ones is to just start adding more pages. 
And as you add more pages, you come back up and you save this template file. And now next time I go down to here, this is changed into a collapsible folder and it has each of the pages inside it.